Fox is extremely happy today. Extremely happy and smoochy, aren't you, Sox? Yes, and oh, oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, you're such a smoocher. You're such a smoochy boy. You're such a smoochy boy. Yes. Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you a happy lad? You are a happy lad. I started filming because he was grabbing my hand and literally shaking hands. I don't know if he'll do it now. I don't want to force him to do it. But it was cute. He was of his own volition grabbing hold of my hand and pulling my hand to him. No, he won't do it now. But it was so cute, wasn't it? It was very cute. And he's got a strong grip on him. Those paws are very strong. All 10 kilos of it. Yes, I know. We know. We know all about the socks. Charlie would like to get out of her cage too and greet the day. Yes. It looked like it was going to rain before, so I left her inside, but I think it's time we took her outside to play. Charlie's a happy bird when she's outside playing, isn't she, Socks? Hmm? She needs to have some tree time, hang around in the trees. Being a bird, what doing what birdies do best? Eh? What do you think about that, Socks? I want to eat her. You want to eat her? Yes, I only eat birds. I must say, you've been very kind to Charlie, Socks. You know, for a predatorial apex animal, you've been very kind to Charlie. Yes, you have. It freaks you out when Charlie gets right up near your face. You say, that's just not normal, Mama T. That's just not normal when a birdie gets right up into my face. And tell Auntie Sally, or tell, tell Mama Sally, she's really your mother actually, um, tell Mama Sally how the other day, I think it was yesterday, or was it the day before? The days are all blurring to one sock. I think it was the day before. I got up and I was sitting on the loo and Beauregard came to visit me while I was on the loo because I don't know why it's a dog thing, he's always done, done it. But the really unusual thing was you came in to visit me while I was sitting on the loo and you looked at the dog and the dog looked at you and you touched noses which is a kind of a greeting and a kind of a friendly little kiss and I must admit you know I was glad I was on the loo because I was so surprised I've never seen you kiss the dog before it was a very warm, loving greeting for that dog who normally chases you around the house. Yes, I think, Socks, I think that you finally accepted that the dog is your, like, kind of um, canine-type, strange little brother, which was a shock to the system, I know, but... Look, you know, I, I, I witnessed it with my own eyes, you kissing the dog. And it was you who leant over and smooched the dog socks. It wasn't the dog leaning over to smooch you. And Beauregard was really happy about that. He was actually quite, quite, quite thrilled. Yes, being accepted by the, the lord of the manor. Hmm? 
you've removed yourself from the, the bedroom, from the Dursley bedroom. Yes. Not that it's really a Dursley bedroom because you've got a queen bed, but anyway. You remove yourself from your antechamber of pussy hell. Hmm? And you now take residence up on the kitchen bench most days. I know, because you're catching the breezes, I know. In winter, you'll go back to the bedroom, you reckon. Okay, well, fair enough. It's warmer in there when it's winter time. Are you a lovely boy? Look at you. Look at, I'm trying to get him to grab my hand again. You gonna grab my hand again? I'm gonna step away. I'm gonna step away. Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Socks? He says, oh, you're annoying, Mama T. Why are you so annoying? Why are you so annoying? Why do you annoy me? Because you're cute. Because you're adorable. Apparently, you've got a bit of a niche. And now you feel dirty. And now you feel dirty. Tickety, tickety, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, By the hair of my chinny chin chin. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow this house down. He says, I'm not a wolf, you silly woman. And I don't have any huff or puff. I already blew this house down with my magnificence. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You're a wonderful cat, Socks. Did anyone tell you that you're a wonderful cat? Are you a bit sick of the paparazzi? Hmm? Alright, I'm gonna leave you alone, socks. I just I've just got an urge to get all that fluff off though. See all that spare fluff you didn't need? I'm collecting it from my worm farm. Yes, put it over here. Put it in the worm farm. I've planted out this morning all my little Woolworths seedlings. We'll see what they manifest. Shall we see what they manifest, Socks? What say you? He says, we're manifesting marvellous things every day, Mama. I know. I know. You're a very sweet boy. There's the dog. The dog's a very sweet boy outside. He's a very sweet boy when he's outside, isn't he? He's adorable. He's adorable. Yes, he's adorable. Alright. Have a happy day, people. Socks greets you and wishes you a happy day. A happy, delightful, glorious, prosperous, peaceful, loving day. Yes, Socks, thank you for that. Much appreciated. Good morning, people.